Welcome back to the King Films Locks 4 Conference Championship Week, and let's get right into it with a recap of Week 13, and it was surely an interesting one. We started out with the Egg Bowl, got our prediction right, predicting Ole Miss to move the 10 wins there. Then we had Iowa, Nebraska on the Friday, Nebraska unable to cover our plus one despite getting us some great line movement. They closed as a two-point favorite. Iowa wins that one there in what was an atrocious final few possessions with all those picks and whatnot. Then we had the civil conflict or civil war between Oregon and Oregon State. Oregon wins that one in a romp there. Oregon State really didn't put much of a fight. That wasn't a betting lock there. Then Arkansas got stomped by Missouri. Drinkwitz and his fellas moved to 10-2 there. Great play by Cook, Luther Burden, and they just proved unstoppable for this Arkansas team that really needs to kind of rebuild going into next season and a more challenging SEC schedule there. Then we had Air Force against Boise State. Boise State covers the six and a half there, and they advance to the Mountain West Championship game and cover our betting lock there. Texas beats Texas Tech in a route there, and then North Carolina State beats North Carolina unranked against ranked in that one there on the second page we had our our Florida lock plus six and a half against Florida kind of a disgusting number here they end up losing blowing a 12-0 lead also missed a field goal at halftime to blow it against Florida State late that was brutal for the cover there and then Clemson gets an early defensive score don't score an offensive touchdown in South Carolina fails to cover I'd say both those were pretty unlucky there and then Auburn with a great performance against Alabama in that crazy Iron Bowl game. One of the craziest ones we've seen, and there have been a lot of crazy ones. And that fourth and 30, just unacceptable by the Auburn defense. Thank goodness we didn't have the money line. They easily covered the 14 and a half. Ohio State against Michigan. Michigan minus four hits there in the big game for another betting lock win. Kentucky against Louisville. We had Louisville. They actually lose outright, so Kentucky wins the Governor's Cup there. Texas A&M and LSU. LSU is able to squeak that one out. It was in doubt for much of the game, but then LSU turned on the Jets late and ended up winning against Texas A&M. And then finally, in the Apple Cup, we had Washington State plus 16 and a half. We got some nice line movement there, and it ended up being a one-possession game, a three-point game, actually, against a now undefeated Washington team. Washington State comes up short, but easily covers there so that's a 500 week four and four so we lose the juice and move to a 10.6 up record on the year so let's get into the conference championship predictions and see what we have cooking for this week so let's start on the friday we've got the conference usa championship liberty against new mexico state i'm not going to overthink this one despite nmsu's great win over auburn two weeks ago and auburn almost beating bama i'm still going to have liberty winning this one they're about a 10 point favorite i'll take the ranked liberty side here then oregon against washington i've been clamoring for oregon for a long time now they open up at nine point favorites that might be a little too much to ask but i do like them to win against what i view as a bit of a fraudulent husky team here Oregon's defensive front and offensive front are very good. They're looking for revenge. It's very hard to beat a team twice, always is. And now this one's at the neutral site. Give me Oregon and that one there. Then Texas against Oklahoma State. Almost went to Oklahoma, it seemed like, in the Big 12 championship there as Oklahoma State was toiling with BYU, but they do end up getting it done as a heavy favorite. I have Texas. I'm not going to overthink this. Texas offensive and defensive lines are great. They have a knack for choking the teams late, but they didn't show that against Texas Tech. They might be over those woes there. Ewers to Xavier Worthy. I expect them to hook up early and often there with Baxter leading the rush game there. I like them to run all over Oklahoma State, and I don't think Ollie Gordon will be enough of an answer against Texas. I think Texas can stop him, similar to what UCF was able to do against Oklahoma State a couple weeks ago. So I've got Texas in that Dr. Pepper Big 12 championship game. Then Miami, Ohio against Toledo. I was back and forth on this one, but I'll follow the spread here and take Toledo. Better record. I'm going to keep it simple and pick a Toledo team that could be undefeated, uh, if not for that early loss to Illinois. Then we've got the aforementioned Mountain West championship. Boise State against UNLV, the three-way tie with San Jose State. Boise State wins out, according to the computers, over the Spartans, a surging Spartan team, I might add, who just beat UNLV. So you could say this is a bit of a Mickey Mouse championship. I certainly 
think that that might be the case. San Jose State lost a lot of their games early and probably are looking scarier than both of these teams. Although Boise State is in a similar situation, dropping three out of conference to Memphis, UCF, and Washington. I like Boise State to win it here at UNLV's home stadium which is happens to be the same place the Pac-12 championship is being played, Allegiant Stadium. I like Boise to come. cap off an eight-win season there with a conference title as we move into the 12-team playoff era. Next page, we've got our free lock of the week, Georgia-Bama, and I like Bama to bounce back after a sluggish and horrible performance against Auburn. Auburn's a completely different team. Then Alabama will be seeing with Georgia. Obviously, Georgia far superior, but this one on the neutral site, not sure which team will have the crowd advantage in this one. This is a great rivalry game, but I just don't see Georgia getting the best of Bama. I like Bama to win outright, but we'll take the candy five and a half points there, and I like Bama to cover. I think that they can fix a lot of the mistakes they had against Auburn. Georgia will not be able to run it as well as Auburn was in that game, and the players will just be up for the test overall more. Again, as I mentioned, Georgia has always had that Bama monkey on their back, at least in SEC play for the past 10 years, it seems like. Uh, I like Nick Saban and the Tide to get it done, but if not, keep it within five. I think that should be a great game there. Then SMU Tulane. I was very intrigued by this one. I like SMU to keep it very close in this one, but I like Pratt and Tulane to take it. SMU had a little bit of a quarterback beat up, but they are looking great on offense over these past few weeks. We'll see what happens in this one. Of course, this one's at the campus site. It's going to be tough for SMU to win on the road at Tulane. And so I'm going to take the green wave there in a close one. I could see that being a field goal game there. Then App State against Troy. Again, I'll keep it simple and pick Troy. App State coming off two massive wins, one over the previously undefeated JMU squad. I think that they've played above their level for a few weeks now, and I like Troy to send them right back down. Give me Troy to win the Sun Belt Championship there. Then we've got the Big Ten Championship. This is a 20-point spread. Iowa's team total is 6.5 points. This is insane, and you'll never see this in a conference championship again as all the conferences are kind of reverting to the no divisions format. The Big Ten West, truly something to behold this year, especially since you've got Penn State and Ohio State waiting in the wings there who don't get to compete in this one. We'll see what Iowa can muster here. I like Michigan to win the game. The spread, I have no idea what happens. I could see this being 40 to zero, or I could see it being like 10 to zero Michigan. Uh, so we'll see what Iowa can muster up there. I expect them to be a little bit better than at least that final score indicated in the Penn State game, but we'll have to see. I like Michigan to continue their momentum into the playoff and win that one there. Then Florida State against Louisville. In the ACC Championship, I like Louisville to win there. FSU was able to control the ground game in the second half against Florida. Louisville, obviously, on the bounce-back effect after they lost to Kentucky outright, and obviously that was a disgusting loss. Both of these teams not really trending in the right direction. I like Louisville to bounce back and win the ACC outright and send Florida State out of the playoff. That being said, if Florida State does win out, I do like them to make the playoff no matter what happens in that SEC championship game. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and comment your predictions below.